I'm going to photograph that tree there, which is backlit against the uh, the darkness of the fell. And uh, the problem with this is the flare. First, select the lens. Ah, uh, higher. I need the uh, less than a hundred, probably about a ninety millimeters for this. So this is too uh, too tight. Too tight. This is. Voila. Put it on live view. Back button focus. Focus on the area you want. Look at the histogram. I think it's a third of a stop extra it needs. I'll shoot a test frame at that. And the, uh, the tree is alright, but the sky is blown out. So I'll do what it stop under to retain the sky detail. Might crop it out. I might do a tight shot without the sky. Just see what happens. Well, I decided to go with a tight shot. And if I look at the top right hand corner, I cloned out that little bit of annoying sky. I might go down there with a the long lens and see if I get a, a more focus in shot without the fell on the background. Well, you get the idea. Focus in. Press the back button focus. Set the exposure at three quarters of a stop. Two thirds of a stop overexposed. And there you have it. And I'll just keep on taking shots until the tree is no longer in backlight. There's, there's a little tree just behind it which is quite pale and there's a few little highlights on that I want to get rid of. So they tend to be distracting otherwise I'll have to clone them out. And just in case I'll take a one of the sky, I'll stop down until it becomes manageable. It's actually getting harder to do for some reason, I don't know why. God, I must pronounce the words better. <laughs> Sounds like I'm drunk today. As you can see, some foliage intruded into the shot, so I had to clone that out. 
and darken down the foreground a bit. Right, I better move on, I better move that way now. Just chase the sun. Well, I didn't chase the sun, it chased me. Just look at that tree on the left and how the sun fades and how the shadow races across the path into me subject. But never mind. This is the uh, perils of landscape photography. Well, I don't know whether I got that one or not. <laughs> I didn't see the shadow rapidly coming behind me. And by the time I took the shot, it was at the tree, so God knows. There's a moral to that story is always be prepared and give yourself enough time. It just happened so fast. It just, sun just dropped down behind the mountain and the shadow raced across. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Now it's it's uh, got colder now, so oh, this is not a very good blog at the moment. Beautiful conditions, but uh, I just find it hard to get it together. I don't know why I took this shot. I think it was just that shadow line intrigues me.
and one photograph in is that so I'll just wait and see if any pink light there's a slight bit of um, what can I say light on one of the tips of the mountains and so when that goes off hopefully the sky should be taking a nice pinky hue but we don't know really do we right just wait and see what happens well hopefully you might be here the cuckoo was what was um, calling there as usual <laughs> when I speak the camera he's not saying anything he's not calling <laughs> I'll try this cuckoo cuckoo Did it before us? <laughs> Do you hear that? I quite like these soft light scenes, it's, you know, with the snow. Adds a bit of extra sculpt into the scene and also as the light sort of fades I'll get the uh, long exposure effect on the water to smooth it out but it's relatively bright at the moment so just wait and see what happens it's all exciting but what I will do I'll focus on it put it on a manual focus to lock it in you see so I don't have to touch anything else, you see, because sometimes it'll hunt, it'll try to refocus each time. And as the light level gets lower, it finds it hard to um, hard to focus on the subject. Right, so there we are. Back button focus, times 10 magnification, focused on the mountain. Right, see the exposure sort of drop now in the histogram. I go up. What I'm trying to do is to get those two peaks, the edge of this histogram, get that sort of evened out so there's enough detail in the shadows and in the highlight. It's all taken care of. There we are, no blinkies, that's fine. Well, hope you like my little video. Please like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. So, subscribe down there. Thumbs up. Damn cars. <laughs>